our warm-up sequence and our roll down. We're going to start in parallel directly underneath the hips. So making sure it's not too wide. Making sure the spine is nice and long. Already lifting the lower belly button to um, feel the core engaged. We're going to breathe in, soften the knees. Breathing in, one, two, and then an upper back curve, top of the head with the demi plie, three, four. Repeat that, five, six, without a plie, seven, eight. Then the top of the head is just going to take you down for four counts, all the way down until your hands meet the floor. You're going to plie down on five. You're going to twist the knees round to the right so you've got that lower back spiral going on. Placing the bottom down, rolling through the spine, hands behind the head. And what we're going to do is take four crunches, lifting your shoulders off each time. Two, three, already starting to engage the core. Four. You've got four counts to roll up. Top of the head leads you and your legs are gonna lengthen. So make sure the sitting bones are nice and long, connected to the floor, long spine. Make sure there's space between the earlobes and the shoulders. We're then gonna snake towards the right side and you're gonna push up into a nice cobra stretch, making sure the shoulders are pulled down, the hips are nice and open. Tuck the toes under and find um, downward dog. Let's take this stretch for four counts, really feeling the backs of the legs, one, two, three, four. You can soften that left knee to push the right leg back, so we can really lengthen out the right quad um, and really push into that hip. Enjoy this nice hip flexor stretch, lengthening the right quad. And then we've got a hamstring stretch for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. You plie seven, coming in eight. Then we're gonna repeat on the left side. So you're breathing in for two and curve out for two. Wind it up for two without a plie for two. Down for four, one, two, three, four. Plie for five, this time twist the knees to the left, six, place yourself down, seven, eight, four crunches, one, and two, and three, shoulders off each time, four, four counts to roll up through the spine, lengthen the legs, two, three, four, snaking towards the left this time again, finding the hips. Shoulders pulling down the back, tuck the toes under, four counts, one, two, three, four. Soft in the legs, lengthen that left leg back, one, two, three, four. Hamstring stretch for six counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, plie, seven, in, eight. Then you can repeat it again, right and left, breathing in and breathing out, filling up the body with um, loads of breath. some warm um, with some shoulder rolls and some tilts. 
So starting off with the right shoulder, we've got one, two with the elbow, three, four, big circle, five, six. You're gonna take that into a middle back curve with the demi plie, seven. We're gonna open eight. We've got a tilt, one, two, centre three, four. This time, repeat it, but with a plie. Here, five, six. Make sure the knees are over the toes there, and we've got no funny alignment going on, so you're with a plie. We're curving over, rolling up through the spine. Make sure your hips are still facing the front. You're just twisting from the lower base of the spine to open back to centre. Yep. From there, we've got tabletop. So you've got four counts into your tabletop. I want you to breathe in before you go up and over. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're finding our flat back here. You should think top of the head towards the front and you need to be lifting your belly button up towards the spine so we're really engaged and we're not sat back in our heels. Our weight is forwards. You've got a nice swing so we can relax. We are swing to find fifth. Keep the shoulders down here. You're then gonna hang from the ceiling. You're gonna pull through that right arm, taking the head with you. You're gonna drop one, drop two, and then pull yourself up three, four, pushing the space down. So I actually wanna see tension through the arms there. It's like you're pushing through fog or something. And connect the lats to the back, five, six, seven, eight. And then we do it all on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Middle back curve, so belly button engaged into your spine. Seven, open, eight. Take the tilt. One, two, center three, four. With a plie, again, make sure you don't knock the knees. Make sure you stay knees over the toes here to curve through. Keep that right hip pulled back, rolling up through the spine, sh left shoulder down, back to centre. You're coming up and over for four. Backs of the legs working now. One, two, three, four. You swing five, six, up seven, eight. Left arm drops, one, drop two, three, four. Connect your core to your lats. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna squeeze to first. We're gonna start finding our rotators now, backs of the legs working. We do it all in first position, so we're finding our plie in first. All of this, obviously, is in turnout now, yeah? Okay, let's give it a go. us into our more complex foot sequence. So starting with some tondus first. Um, we've got a peel of the foot. Make sure the knee is over the toes. One, two. With a plie, three, four. We're gonna peel the foot out using the floor pressure. Peel to just place it forward. So we're transferring our weight, making sure the hips are still even. Take your arms through to second. We've got a flex of that front foot. At the same time, let's take an arch, be generous with the chest on the ceiling to place it back. 
from there, we've got two taps with a plie. Again, make sure the hips are nice and even. Tap, tap, scoop to lengthen that leg. Really think of the back of the leg lengthening nice and long. As you straighten the leg, the tondu comes to the side. Keep it in parallel turned in. Bring it in. You've got ankle, knee, ankle down. And I want you to think about lengthening in that supporting hip so that we don't get any wobbly hips. So we're already finding our balance. So let's try the left side. You're going one, two, plie, three, four, transfer the weight, five, six, arch, seven, down, eight. You've got two taps on a fondue, one, two. Scoop to lengthen it out. I'm thinking of the back of the leg really lengthening there. Again, pull up on that supporting side. Connect lengthening the leg as you straighten. So you're pulling in, ankle, knee, ankle down. Squeeze to turn out. So we're finding our turnout muscles for the first time in class today. Finding uh, a lot of space in the hips as much as you can, especially in the front. Lifting the belly button, we're gonna do it all in turnout. So everything is exactly the same. When we place it down, we're finding that nice turned out fourth position. When you flex, it still stays turned out. Everything exactly the same. And when we're finding our retire, keep it nice and high, turned out, lengthen that supporting hip to bring it down and then on the left side. So we'd go one, two, three, four. This would place turned out five, six, keep the turn up, seven, eight. We've got tap one, two. Be generous with that leg, three, four. Straighten five in six, ankle, knee, ankle down. One, two, and three, four, five, six, arch, seven, eight. Tap, one, two, through three, four. Lengthen the leg, five in six. Ankle, knee, ankle down. Try and keep that retire nice and high and turned out. Again, pulling up in that supporting hip. That's it, good, ribs connected. Okay. Okay, nice long spine, lifting out long front of the hips. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tap, three, four, lengthen, and ankle, knee, ankle, and one, good. Keep lengthening the legs away from you. Nice, into first. Finding that supporting hip. Good. Okay, so we've got our progression from the foot sequence that we've just done. So it starts on a diagonal this time. We're doing exactly the same thing at the beginning. So peeling one, two with the plie, three, four, peel to place it down, five, six, arch, seven, eight. This is where it changes. Now we're gonna scoop that right foot back. I'm thinking of the pelvis leading and initiating that movement. I'm scooping that leg back, I'm pushing back in those hips, left leg plies, and it's going through parallel to turn it out through a high retire to find that nice long lunge. So we start to use the legs, fingertips, and focus towards the left corner. Now I'm shifting through to find my contraction. Make sure your shoulders aren't too far forwards here. We're thinking of contracting, scooping that belly button to the back of the spine, almost like you're sitting on a chair. Now from there, you're wander on the leg. And I want you to think of a nice long circle in the toes. The arms are gonna circle all the way round, come through the center to find your first position. Then you're gonna peel through the foot, because it is a foot sequence. You're going one, two, three. I'm shifting forwards this way, come through the center to then tilt to the side. Yeah, 
Yeah, so really testing your balance, coming forwards, back to center with the arms to tilt. You've got a little jump and through. So that's only small. So you're bringing your body back up through center to then find third with the arms. From there, you're gonna wander on the left leg, opposite arm to find a fourth. And it's up to you, single or double pirouette here, just to find your balance to land in parallel to cheat it. Then we go on the left side. Counts are one, two, three, four, peel five, six, arch seven, eight. Now this is almost a swing motion, so you've just got to go for it. I'm swinging that way to scoop it in. You can let your torso go with it to here. Three, four, you're stepping, five, six, contract, seven, eight. This is one, close, two. Three and four, you're shifting forwards. Five, center six, side seven, eight. You're gonna jump one, two. Take the opposite arm to leg. Three, four, again, it's important you find your spotting position here and you have that moment of calm, finding your fourth, making sure your hips are even into your single or double pirouette to land in parallel. Yep. second position. So make sure it's not a, a classical second. I'd like it a little bit further out. Making sure your pelvis is definitely underneath yourself. Again, I'm already lifting my lower abdominals to make sure they're connected so I'm not relying on my legs too much. Arms are connected to the back in seconds. So we're trying to fill out the space nice and wide. So your first set is going towards the right leg. One, two, three, four. I'm pushing through, back to center. One, two, three, four. Left leg. One, two, three, four. Back to center. One, two, three, four. Right leg. One, two, three, four. This time, you're gonna go through second, finding that turnout, really rotating. Through to the left. One, two, three, four. Back to center. One, two, three, four. You do that all on the left. You've got left leg. One, two, three, four. Center, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Center. Left side. Through to second. Again, finding those rotators all the way round and up. Again, always using your abdominals. From there, second set goes. So we've got four counts into that same lunge. One, two, three, four. I'm reaching out through the fingertips, creating that long diagonal line. I'm then gonna connect, curving over for four counts. Make sure I'm turning out in my plie to roll up for four counts. Head is the last thing to then go on the left side. Two, three, four, reach. Two, three, four, curve. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. And then if you're ready to take a third set, we're reaching over both arms for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna roll that left hip down for eight counts. Finding this nice parallel position, long out energy out the top of the head and the fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're then gonna lift that back leg for eight counts. That's right, energy out of the fingertips. You're then bringing that knee into your chest. Good. For eight counts, then you're lengthening it away. 
to that nice long tabletop position. Great, and then your left fingertips are gonna take over, making a nice big circle at the same time. Finding your high retiro, finding space in that hip. Lovely, keeping those ribs closed, energy out of the fingertips. For eight counts, and then lengthen down for four counts, really going through that leg, finding first, to then degage through to second. And then we do it on the left side, so you've got eight counts to find that diagonal position, eight counts to roll in. Eight counts, I'd like you to stay on that plie, you're just lengthening that leg, make sure that right hip is rolling in. And then right knee to chest for eight counts, lengthen out for eight counts. Good, right fingertips take over, right inner thigh is pulling up, that's it, use your left hip to find your balance, exactly. And then through the leg, four counts, degage, seven, eight. That's your three sets of sidewinders. Okay, so arms connected to the back, pulling down those lats, lengthening out through the fingertips, long front of the hips. Be careful not to pitch forwards. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, centre, good. So really trying to find space in the hips, rotating. Using the backs of the legs, lovely, good. Push, use your belly button to keep lifting you. And centre. Oh, energy out of the fingertips, keep the arms alive. Through to second. Good, now we're going into second set on four counts. One, two, three, four, reach for four. And curve for four. Rolling up, keep breathing. One, two, three, four. Energy out the fingertips. Good, keep it fluid. Third set on eight counts. Three, four, five. Arms come up to the diagonal, twisting for eight. Good, find that supporting leg. Lifting for eight. Hold for eight. Good, bring that left knee in. Good, staying on a plie, lengthen it out. Now lengthen the left fingertips, find your retire, use your arms as an anchor, down the leg and degage. Second step, reach for eight. Energy out of the fingertips. Keep breathing, roll that right hip down. Now energy out of the top of the head, strong supporting leg. We're gonna hold it for eight, keep that right hip rolled in. Good. And then out for eight. Great, big circle with the right fingertips. Use your left arm as the anchor. Down, find that second clean finish. Good. We're now moving on to um, our swing exercise. So we can afford to relax a little bit more, um, get more movement in the torso. We're starting again in our parallel. Um, starting with the right knee bending, we're gonna carve through the space with the right arm, relaxing the head. We've got carving through one. I'm gonna go the other way, scoop two. Again, three. You've got a big circle with the fingertips, four. You're getting there on five. So I've got a nice spiral in the torso. Keep your hips facing the front. I'm here on five. I'm curving six. Rolling up through the spine, seven, to get to centre on eight. Now from there, your fingertips are going to carve through the space. Your right fingertips are going to lead you towards the diagonal. So they're going to take over this way. And you're going to take a little step forwards that way. Your left fingertips then take over this way to turn you to face that diagonal. So really send the fingertips up to then relax. You're going to shift through on your left. You can relax in those hips. You've got a swing. Swing, now I'm turning with a tilt this way. So I'm thinking of a right angle position with that foot on a releve, but my torso is just tilting towards that supporting leg. Yeah, exactly. So we're tilting over that supporting leg. We're finding this right angle shape 
and I'm taking the body all the way over here on a releve. We've got step, step, brushing through first to find a nice high leg as high as you want towards the front to shift the weight all the way over to then take one through to second to then do a double bounce into a scoop. I'm going to scoop this way to find a nice open fourth. Lovely. So you can just really open out the hips, find the rotation in that back leg especially. Now, you're just going through this fourth. You're not going to stay in it. I'm going through it to pull back and I'm sending the fingertips that way. And it's a nice long leg. Yeah, so you send the energy out of the toes, taking that arm over, it's on a fondue. And then you're gonna find your balance this way. And you can either stay on a parallel, or if you're feeling up on that left supporting hip, you can find your balance here, just the angle, ankle to then lower, to do it on the left. So, left side, we start with the left knee. We've got carving the space worn. Two, three, you've got a big circle all the way round to find that spiral. You've got a curve rolling up, back to the centre. This time you, the left fingertips would go this way with the left, left foot. Right fingertips take over, you've got a swing. Think of your back going towards the audience first in this second. Really relaxing those hips now that we've done our side winder sequence. Again, on the other side, you're tilting through that way onto a high releve. Think of that supporting hip so that you can really lean over and take risk there. We've got step, step. I'd like you to brush through first here. So you've got that floor pressure and the back of the leg working. Yep, so you can go quite high with that leg if you want to. Finding the arms to second, folding over and then finding that supporting leg again to second, to then double bounce to scoop this way, long leg comes in through to fourth to then transfer the weight back. So we're really shifting our pelvis back onto that supporting leg. So then catch yourself. And if you wanna take the leg off, you can. If not, stay both legs grounded and then just lower through the center. So really trying to find that relaxation and heavy swing using your breath as well. So we'd go one and two and three, all the way round, follow, the, uh, use the focus, four, get there, five, curving six, up seven, open eight, left side this time. So we're going one, we're coming through two. You're swinging three, up four, you've got right side, five, Six, you're turning with the tilt. Seven, step, step, leg. Forwards, leg. Double bounce, through, through, back. Catch yourself, find your balance. Take your leg off if you want to. Whoop, to then drop. Yeah, okay. On yourself, catch. Good, find your center. Good. Moving 
on to our next sequence, which is the adage sequence. We're starting in first position. Arms are in second. You're just taking the foot to the front on a plie. Again, make sure your hips are um, even, connected to the back. We're curving, so it's the top of the head that's going to take you up over. Upper back curve. You're placing that foot in front. One. Scooping that belly button in. You're going to place your foot to the side, this time with a tilt. Keep those sides nice and long so that we don't get any crunching or shortening. We're still finding space too. Going to the back, but we're taking an arch with the back. Be generous with the arms, chest, and open heart towards the ceiling. To breathe, to lengthen, pulling up, finding that supporting leg. Four, you're gonna repeat. One, you tilt two. We're arching three, breathing four. We're then gonna ronde on one. Through first each time, floor pressure two, three. On the fourth one, you're gonna brush through. Take that leg forward on a plie. You're then bringing that leg back to a nice open retire. You're gonna take it through to second. Use your fondue, take that leg round to the back. Bring the arms to a nice diagonal, keep the chest nice and open. Squeeze into first. You're gonna do it all on the left. So you've got a curve. One, you're tilting two, you're arching three, breathing in four. Again, one. Tilting two, arch on three, breathe through, on four. One de jean, one, two, three. Scoop it through on a plie, four. Nice long leg, back of the leg working. Bring that leg in to retire, Developé out to second. Then on a fondue, take it round to the back, long toes, and then squeeze into first to finish. And then if you're ready for it, we can actually reverse this whole sequence. So you'd start in an arch, you'd go to your tilt, then you'd take a curve, repeat that. You've got your arch, tilt, curve, through. So your Ronde Jeans would come through the other way. One, two, three. This time you'd go to the back on your fondue. You'll bring that leg through to retire, Développé out to second, then on a plie, bring that foot through to the front to squeeze into first. So it all reverses. Okay. Six, seven, and curve one, tilt two. from the corner. So let's get our ankles nice and warm. We start with the demi plie. One, and then we're gonna take a little rise. Two, repeat that, plie, and a rise. You've then got a double plie. One, two, into your rise. You're then gonna hold for a few counts. Make sure the belly button is engaged. You're then gonna jump kind of small through the feet. One, two, three, four. Change to first making sure you're turned out in the hips to 
squeeze with resistance to repeat everything in first position. You've got plie and a rise, plie and a rise, double bounce, one, two and rise, find your balance, hold, hold, hold. Four jumps, one, two, three, four, change on the fifth jump to squeeze with resistance. Repeating in second, plie and a rise, plie and a rise, double plie and a rise, hold, 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 one, two, three, four, back to parallel and squeeze. And then I'm unpeeling the arms, palms are forwards, tilting to the left. And that's every time you do a triple run. So we take turns going to the right and to the left. So you've got this nice side to side motion with the torso. At the same time, we're gonna take right, left, right, left, right, left. We're gonna do three triple, triple runs. So we're going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then you're pulling up on that left leg, nice open arms into fourth, you want to elevate, and it's just a low arabesque, finding that supporting hip, finding that leg, keep that leg nice and long and low. You're going to swing the arm over, so this arm is coming all the way over, it's slicing, and you're just letting it swing, the leg is just relaxed in a nice long arabesque, swiping the space to go step, change the feet to land onto your left leg. So you've got your nice long arabesque. From here, you're gonna go step, slice, step, jump, step. So I'm really finding this nice diamond shape in the legs before I step to turn around that corner. So you change the gear, make sure you're grounded into the floor. I'm gonna go into run, run, stag, run, run, stag. So that means bent parallel front leg and low arabesque back leg. So I've got run, run, stag, run, run, stag. Starting in first position, you're gonna start by tilting over to the right. You're crossing your arms over and then you're tilting over to the left, unfolding the arms, palms are forwards, shoulders are down. You're gonna do three triple runs. So the feet are gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Starting with the right leg. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Now on the fourth three, you're gonna bring your arms to an open fourth. Stepping up onto the left, your arms are in a nice open fourth, palms forwards. So keep the leg nice and low at the back in an arabesque. You're then gonna throw this arm over the top. So just carve the space with the fingertips and then swing it through to then go step. And you're cutting underneath, landing and turned out leg to step on the left. To go around the corner, you've got two runs and a stag leap, two runs and a stag leap off. Thank you. 
starting in fifth, we're gonna go into our Grand Allegro jumps, traveling. So you're gonna start with a chasse through to second. You're bringing the left leg in, two runs, and you're gonna use the floor pressure to swish that foot into a nice assemble, landing in fifth. And then we just repeat it through the second side, one, in, run, run, swish to land in fifth. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add in a turn. So you're turning back on yourself, run, run, assemble, chasse, in, run, run, assemble. So you're gonna start with a chasse through to second. You're bringing the left leg in, two runs, and you're gonna use the floor pressure to swish that foot into a nice assemble, landing in fifth. And then we just repeat it through the second side. One, in, run, run, swish to land in fifth. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add in a turn. So you're turning back on yourself. One, run, assemble, chasse, in, run, run, assemble. Starting in fifth, you're gonna chasse through to second, a little shunt through. Then you're shunting, bringing the left leg in front, keeping this nice turned out position. You've got two runs, run, run. You're swishing the left leg to land in fifth. So you've got a bigger assemble, land in fifth. You repeat it on the left, chasse, in, run, run, into fifth. We do the same thing, but this time with a turn. So you're gonna turn back on yourself this way. Run, run, land in fifth. Here, in, run, run, fifth. So we can do it on the right and left. So starting off with transfer of weight, we're gonna go onto the right side, one, two, three. Repeat onto the left, one, two, three. So really finding the groundedness through the floor and really relax in the ankles and feet. You're then turning out into a second, cut underneath, let the top of the head take you over so that you can really suspend and shift into a double chasse second position. Take the arm up and over with the focus to just hang over the legs in parallel. Again, make sure your neck is nice and relaxed. From here, you're gonna change the hip, lengthen through the left toes to then go onto that shin to roll to face the back. Now this, le uh, this arm is inverted and so is the leg. It's a parallel attitude leg. And make sure you're pulling up out of the shoulders. You're gonna reverse that roll. Coming back, tuck your head in. You're lengthening the left leg away as much as you can to find this nice, clean second position, relaxing the hips. Now from here, you're gonna scoop this way, and at the same time, you're gonna lengthen your left leg and fold it in, so we've got a nice scoop, send the leg behind you. So I'm thinking of really finding all of the space and expanding through that right arm. Same thing with the leg if possible. They work as the se at the same time to fold it behind the right leg. You're then pushing the space. You've got a little ball change to relax in the hips in a nice parallel lunge. Then we're undulating through. So I'm dragging that foot in to lengthen it to a second to swing the left leg round, to find that plie, to do a big head roll round right to left. We're starting by transferring the weight um, and we're gonna do kind of like a little triple run. One, two, three, 
one, two, three. You can just swing your arms out to bring it in through the feet. From there, I'm going to shift through second. I'm cutting underneath, taking the weight over that left leg so that we can fall into a double chasse through second. Take the arm up and over with the focus to hang over the leg. Now from here, you're going to lengthen your left leg, changing the hips to then roll to find the back. And the leg is in a parallel um, attitude leg here. There we go. You're then going to reverse that roll, fold your head in, sweep that leg around. You're coming in, you're going to lengthen the left leg away from you so that you can find this nice second plie position. Now from here, you're going to scoop this way and at the same time, you're going to lengthen your left leg and fold it in so we've got a nice scoop, send the leg behind you. Now from there, you're going to push the space, take a little ball change to change the weight. You're going to undulate the hip, drag that leg in, so we go turn it in, turn it out. Again, I'm going through to a second, swing the leg around, land in a nice soft plie to then take the body in a nice big circle to then start it all on the left side. So let's just walk it through. We'd go left, Right, you then go into second, cut underneath, send the head over this way to then do a double chasse. The fingertips lead you all the way up and over, hanging over the legs. Then you're switching your hips, extend through the right toes to roll onto the shin, find the back wall this way to then reverse that. Keep your head tucked in. Lengthen your right leg away from you this time to find a nice deep second position. And then scoop to fold it underneath to then push, relaxing that left hip flexor so that you can undulate through, find your second, swing that leg round, find your plie, circle the torso and finish in parallel. On the left side, it would go over to the left, over to the right. From here, I'm chasseing through second, cut under that leg, send the weight through the head all the way over to then go double chasse, up and over, take the focus all the way round and just hang over the legs. Now on the left side, you'd extend your right leg, change the hips to then roll through the shin, keep your head tucked in, Lengthen the right leg into a nice, long, parallel attitude. Again, you're still facing the back. You're then going to reverse this. So you're rolling back onto your bottom. Left leg, extend the right leg away to find the spine back into second. Now you're going to scoop where you came from. Scoop to step, ball change. So you're facing that diagonal. Undulate the hip. In, out, swing the right leg round, and we're circling the torso all the way round, left to right, to finish. Really transfer the weight, now find suspension. Good, long leg. And then finding your long spine here, connect the fingertips to the belly button. Great. Now long leg, big circle in the torso onto the left side. Suspension. Up and over. Now reverse the roll, lengthen that right leg away. the leg, big circle with the torso to finish in parallel. 